what's cool what's groovy what's happening welcome back youtube to my channel it's time for life i thought you know what i love to eat i love to eat i'm always eating okay we'll stop anywho i love to eat i'm always eating and i was like if i'm gonna eat i might as well you know, usually when i'm eating i'm like either on the phone but these days not as much because you know sometimes i think it's kind of annoying to hear <laughs> whilst you're on the phone with somebody although i don't mind personally because i know that it's good to multitask and get things out of it anywho i love to eat usually when i eat i'm watching people on youtube that's my tv anybody be watching tv tv like that no more so that's what i do and i was like i might as well start eating and youtubing at the same time because whilst you're eating you can't do anything else that's productive or whatever really so and wholeheartedly so yeah but i was like i can't do all these fancy foods like hmm. i've seen people out here okay we know seafood is very popular and seafood is very expensive i've seen a person out here eat a what was that a baby alligator oh my gosh that thing looks so scary it had the head and the teeth and everything and the tail and oh, the whole thing like that you stick it in the oven apparently oh i don't want to know i don't want to know anywho yeah people be eating all kinds of interesting things i was like i i i i i ain't got the dough like that so what i'm gonna do is this is a mukbang hashtag struggle food okay i know a lot of people have had this before it's just like bread and then you put butter and then like sugar mm -hmm. and a lot of people had this growing up i did not have this growing up i had like um french toast is that the one the one with the cinnamon the one that's like dipped in egg and then the bread is dipped in egg and you mix it with something anyway french toast is that what it's called what did i call it i don't know anywho yes that and then you sprinkle the cinnamon or cinnamon sugar or just sugar on top i know that one this is a variation so i went to a christmas market by the way here's my toast let me get at this before it becomes cold so boom yes it looks horrible anywho <laughs> i went to a christmas market i went to town anyway i went to a town in a different city and if you are in the uk england specifically you'll know about aunt Anne's, and it's a place where they have pretzels now i noticed that this city had the pretzels but they were way cheaper they were about 50p cheaper than in another city they're really nice they're really really nice mm. so i'm always like craving these things i i took a tea with me on the road so i don't go to starbucks no costa no cafe nero no nothing no pret a manger and nothing mm. that's what i'm drinking out of this thing like, first of all why is it cheaper here i don't know second of all i know that these pretzels are very easy to make it is dough they make them in huge batches i know because you can see it big batch of dough rising to the ceiling how much is dough you're just paying them for doing it and putting it in a nice um <laughs> pretzel figure you know that's what you're paying for any hoosies but yeah i went for it and then i realized that i actually didn't like it as much as mr pretzel is that the one that's called that one is in london it's much softer and my friend actually did it my friend actually did say this and i was like why will you come against aunt aunt's but no, it's true. No, sometimes you think something is the absolute best and then you you try something else and then you realize, no, not so much. Anywho, I'm just coming on here because I'm taking this video making thing very seriously. And any chance that I get, I'm going to make a video. Whether people watch it, oh yes, I don't care. So anywho, 
more about my food this is a very interesting mukbang type situation because you can't see my food but it's not very appetizing looking no no because it's hashtag struggle foods here's the thing I me mean, i went there i had it with almond sweet almond or whatever sweet almond pretzel now the bottom of the pack once i was done with the pretzel it was so much so many nuts and things and i was like well okay, okay. no another book by now show the food it's ridiculous <laughs> Yeah. And then. So all the almond stuff at the bottom. Mm -hmm. It was down there. And yeah. I'm eating it with my toast. Okay. Because look, I could have dipped my toast in egg and fried it in a pan and all that. And then sprinkle some sweet almond whatever on top. This is just like that. Nothing goes to waste. I really waste nothing. I don't throw food away. Even if it's crumbs, I don't throw it away. And I got some honey too. Good honey. Good, good honey. And it's good too. This is stuff these YouTubers don't tell you about. And I'm worried that a lot of people are going to start doing YouTube and become bankrupt. Because they're taking loans to do what everybody else is doing. I'm just out here like, I ain't got the money. I'm not going to buy fancy, fancy food. Okay, it's not what I eat every day. It's not even like a meal or anything. So don't be worried. But just be you, man. You can't tell me all these people have money to buy seafood all of a sudden. People out here taking loans. To buy weird stuff so that they can be YouTube famous. Mm -mm. What if it don't work? Some of my critics, <clears throat> my mom, sometimes says that my videos are too long. These days I've been making them long because let me tell you, I don't really make them long, it just kind of happens. And then lately, I've spent way too much time editing my videos, way too much like hours. Editing out every um and ah. I also just want to be able to come on here. I also just want to be able to come on here, talk about pertinent issues or just anything at all. Anything life regarded, which means everything. After all, it is time for life. And you don't have to deal like the editing is the worst part. Anybody will tell you just putting on a camera and just talking any nonsense. Anybody can do that. The editing is hideous. Like if you want to edit out every um and ah, you will be here forever. Hmm. I'm just like look. If people like your personality and they vibe with you and they just like to hear you speak I don't know man I think the personality thing is big if people just vibe with you or understand you they don't mind if the videos are long but it's like hanging out it's like we're hanging out and that's what I noticed when I started watching some people with very long videos. I used to 
hate it honestly just even like this year somewhere i was like ugh all these videos are so long i was like no grab your food grab your drink and sit down with these people it's also interesting because it also depends on your life stage I mean, like if you have a lot of friends around you live close by you and everything you don't need to have your meals whilst watching mukbangs you know because you always be around them but when you're not around them they're like well these four walls the ceiling and the floor and me let me put on youtube watch some people no. But anyway, I talked about a whole lot of stuff that I didn't even want to talk about. I'm going to maybe make this the only video that I have not edited even one thing out of. You failed. It's going to be interesting. If you want to know why I'm wearing this, I'm filming this on World AIDS Day. Go check out my video that I did yesterday and find out you know why I'm wearing this what it's all about learn more about AIDS HIV you know learn more about it discover more about it yeah educate yourself anyway I'm done with my wee snack <clears throat> my voice I'm done with my wee snack it was delicious you're gonna think I'm crazy um well, you, well I can't say you should try it because honestly that sweet almond situation like you cannot get it anywhere it's like little, little bits of almond and there's like it's almost like caramelized they fried it or baked it and then there's sugar with it listen it's so good and i don't buy sugar i don't have sugar so yeah i just threw that on there anywho this was my hashtag struggle foods mukbang <laughs> oh my goodness okay yeah um hope you enjoyed you know, sometimes you just have to make yourself happy. Don't take everything too seriously. It is what it is. Anywho, don't go crazy spending a lot of money to try and eat what other people are eating, even though you don't have the money to eat that kind of food yet. Eat what you can afford. Make sure it's nutritious. What I just had was not nutritious at all. White bread and everything. Bread in general. All this sugar stuff. But don't go out there breaking the bank. Hey, this is not a takeaway from the mukbang community and all those dope people that can really cook or can really eat or really know where to get amazing food and have made this super popping on YouTube. I think it's amazing. But yeah, if you ain't got the cash, come on, man. Mm -mm. Don't follow a trend. Your bank account don't support. That's all I'm saying. To try and become YouTube famous in like two months. It pretty much might not happen just take it easy and if you're doing this YouTube thing have fun have fun with it for real for real like really really have fun that is why we come on here to show our creativity and our personalities and yeah have fun with it yeah Anywho, I could literally sit here and talk all all, all day which is why I know that it might be cool to start doing these videos and not necessarily because other people are doing it. I think I've actually made videos like this before, but I never posted them because I was like, I thought it was kind of weird. I thought mukbangs were weird anyway, to be honest. But anywho, <laughs> yeah. Okay, God bless. Make sure you hit bump stop. As don't turn that subscribe button and hit the notification bell whilst you're at it. Big time for glorious life. Hmm. It's time to start living right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. God bless. Mm -hmm.